If you think illegal immigration is a victimless crime, think again. According to the Daily Mail, the migrant crisis has cost Denver's main public hospital $130 million as patients are unable to pay for their treatments. According to Denver's health CEO, the 8,000 migrants who came to the city from Central America made around 20,000 visits to the healthcare system. In addition, Denver's mayor says that migrant aid cost the city $180 million this year and is asking departments to cut their budgets by 15% to pay for it. This is the part of illegal immigration that nobody wants to talk about. A city's public health infrastructure is only so big. It takes resources and it takes people to fund things like firefighters, police departments, EMTs, and hospitals. And if you flood these cities with tens of thousands of people like we've been doing the last couple of years, there's not going to be enough help to go around and American citizens who pay for these services are going to be left behind. This is me at the southern border talking to Customs and Border Patrol who said the exact same thing. Illegal immigration is crushing our healthcare system and sooner or later an American citizen is going to die because of it.